Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Brandy, and I'm wearing the same clothes and hanger as I did in another video because we're filming them all on the same day. If you didn't watch that video, I'm gonna put it up there. Check it out. It is the trailer for the next season of Stranger Things, and in honor of new seasons of shows that have been put off because of COVID, we have another super, super exciting trailer that I want to show you guys that I'm so amped about. Netflix has just been like on a roll today. They put out a trailer for the next season of The Witcher. I don't know if you guys have watched any of The Witcher. It, I honestly, I, I've played the games before. I didn't like love, love the games. They, I've, I really like the characters and the story and stuff, but uh, I'm not one of those people that's like, I need to do every single side mission in them because my attention span was just not there for those games. I would do way too many side missions and then forget to do the main missions. So I did really appreciate the games, but I feel like I had more of an unfound love for the show in a different regard because it was more, you know, linear. And I watched the entire show in one day. So <laughs> I don't remember every little detail, nor do I remember everybody's names by any means, but the show was so hyped. It was so good. I never really cared for, uh, what's his name? <sighs> the comments aren't helping me. Dude who played Superman. Can't think of his name right now, but I had, I, I, I don't really love the other things that I've seen him act in before. So when I heard that he had was going to be Geralt, I like didn't have high hopes for it, but honestly he is so good so good he totally surprised me here so i'm excited to see where they're going with this next season i don't know the base material from the books at all i've never read the books, so i just i i'm going off of the witcher 2 and 3 because those are the only games that i've played so i don't know a whole lot if i do know that this season is kind of like pulling from all the source material it's not like a set story so I'm sure I'll know some bits of it, but I believe we got a trailer before, like forever ago, that gave us a little bit of series story, but I'm looking forward to seeing what this is going to give us for this one. So let's just get into it and see what goes down. Evil is evil. Bless her. Evil is evil. All right. Great <laughs> Henry Cavill. That, there we go. The I knew the name was gonna come to me. Something I knew it was out there come. waits for you. <laughs> Something more. Oh, fun. Uh, I love this guy in season one. There is no more hiding from Milka. I literally that toss a coin to your Witcher song could not get out of my head. Fight, Carol. We need to get more Siri this season. I feel like we got like a little bit of her in the first season, but. Need to understand some things. She like, if I recall correctly, she only like North's just meets Geralt at Why? like Slayers the end of the first season. I think. I it's been a while. Like... I might have to rewatch it before I watch season Not two. Not exactly is Cameron. To like refresh my memory. You're home. Finally, Vesemir. Mm. I brought her here so she'd be safe. Are they gonna like teach her to kind of like? Know the ways of being a witcher, kind of. But what I'm protecting her from. Ooh. You spend a lifetime alone. What changed you? Jennifer of Vengerberg. Oh, Jennifer. Do you have what it takes? I dream of becoming important to someone. You're important to me. Ooh. This is your legacy. Save this people. This continent. Oh shit! What? You're in chains behind enemy lines, Jennifer. Do you really think offering me as a sacrifice will spare your failure? You're blind. The war's just begun. Oh, Human class. Ooh, this year? Things to be though. Like 2021? What are we gonna get? Are we gonna get an actual release date? I mean, this looks like they filmed the whole damn season. And this horrid looks. They're giving us a lot. What the fuck is that? 
monsters are born of deeds mm. done. Get killed. Unforgivable ones. Come on, give us a date. Give us a date. Come on, Netflix. Give us a date. December. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's exciting. I didn't know they were going to give us an actual date of release. Yeah, December 17th. I, I don't know if it's going to be the same, like, they just give us, like, eight episodes flat type thing. But, ooh, and someone commented here the show right announced season three, too. Yo, honestly, we already know that the show is going to do well. The first season was crazy good. And not only is it, like... It got really good reviews, you know, just in terms of people who watch Netflix and this, this, and this. But you're also bringing in the fans of the books as well as the fans of the games. So you have a built-in audience on top of this show just being a really good show. And then you're also probably, you're kind of bringing in, like, Games of Thrones fans and stuff like that. Because this has, like, similar vibes to that. So they already have a built-in fan base. They know these are going to do well. They could make so many seasons out of this. But I'm, this looks good. Uh, yeah, the comments are all saying the same things that I'm saying, where it's like, this, yeah, this season seems like the story's finally beginning here. Like, the first season was like, let us introduce all the characters, anybody who's not familiar with the source material, like, let's give you a tidbit of this, this, and this. This seems like it's really gonna give us a good story. And Yennefer seems like she kind of has, like, her own side story on top of, well, it seems like... No, Geralt and Siri are doing their own thing, and Yennefer is like kind of doing her own thing. I don't know if they're gonna bring them all together to have one concise story, but I didn't realize we were getting this this year. I thought they were gonna make us wait, kind of like the Stranger Things trailer, how they're just like, it's coming next year, sometime. We don't even have a month for you. It's just coming. Thanks. At least they gave us a definitive date for this. That's super super exciting. So I'm in for that. Let me know what you guys think. Have any of you guys watched the first season? If you did what'd you think of it if you haven't watched it have you played the games have you read the books are you even a fan of the witcher if you haven't watched or played any of it holly suggests it really good games really good shows haven't read the books but i'm gonna assume the source material is just as good so definitely go check it out that's all i've got for you guys today though i hope you like this video there's so many shows that are coming out netflix is dropping trailers left and right so i am so amped for what's to come it feels like we're finally coming out of this like COVID slump of like everything being halted. So I'm looking forward for what's to come. But that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up. It helps out my channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.